Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mind, bringing you a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Nate Diaz and Johnny Hendricks. Um, Nate Diaz has been requested quite a bit um, in my last video, and um, Johnny Hendricks was also requested. I know a few people also requested that I use guys like Mighty Mouse and and uh, Cub Swanson, but uh, they will be coming up in a few in in a few videos that I'll be making soon. But um. In this video, I'm going to try to talk to you guys and explain a few things to you guys because I haven't been posting much lately and uh, the reason for that is um, I just got a new job. I just got a new job working for American Airlines. Um, the actual job is supposed to be a home-based job. I'm going to be at home um, taking calls. Like It's like a call, like a customer service type of job. But um, before I can actually go home and start taking calls you know, in my house, I have to do training. I have to do some some training. The training lasts 10 weeks. I already started. I started like nine days ago. And uh, it's, it's tough. It's not easy. There's a lot of information that we have to absorb, a lot that we need to learn. I mean, my trainers, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty amazing. We're about 40 people in the class. And, uh, you know, we're doing a good job. We're, we're really doing a good job learning the information. But it's the airlines it's always complicated there's a lot to memorize a lot to learn and oh look looks like we're fighting nate diaz but that's why i haven't been posting as much because i go into work at like 4 p.m and i come back really really late i come back at like 2 sometimes 3 p.m i have to drive like an hour to the office and then when i by the time i'm getting back i'm tired then i have to get some rest because I have to go to another job the next day so right now I currently have two jobs the second one that I have I uh, I'm a companion caregiver it's like it's where you are uh, you you babysit the elderly you kind of sit with them make sure that they're t they're taken care of um, make sure that they're not hurting themselves help them run errands taking places taking to appointments and stuff like that so I'm pretty busy that's why I haven't been able to make as much videos as i would like to make now my days off are wednesdays and thursdays on wednesday i'm completely off i don't have to work anywhere on wednesday so i'm thinking on wednesdays i'll be putting up videos on thursday though i have to work at my companion care job so um thursdays might be a little tricky but just wanted to explain that to you guys let you know it's, it's not that i'm abandoning youtube i'm not i just don't really have time to make videos like i always like i want to so uh, let's see, uh, in round number one, I'm going to show you guys one way that you can use Nate Diaz, and then I'm going to show, wow, it, I have not played this game in like a week. See, the way he's playing, the way he's using Nate Diaz right now, he's, he's just winging shots, that's one way you can use Nate Diaz, but you could, you could use him in a very realistic way, you can keep your distance, you know, use your jab and straights. Just, you know, keep your distance a little bit. Boom, boom, hit him, back up. All right. See, you can, you can use him like that. Now, with Nate Diaz, you got to remember, he has a lot of stamina. He has fluidity. I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly, but he's very long. He's very lean. He has a long reach. You can catch up to people pretty easily with Nate Diaz. So, that is your advantage. You know, it's kind of tricky when we're both using. Well, I'm not even fighting. This is, I'm so, I'm so rusty right now. But all right, so here's how I actually like to use Nate Diaz. All right, let's back this guy up. With Nate Diaz, I don't like backing up. I back him up. And he dropped me. Great. We don't want to be on the ground. We want to get up. So he's going to my body a lot. That's what you should be doing with Nate Diaz. And what he's doing, he's not letting me. He's not letting me. See? Right there. He's. Fight over. And that's how you use him. I don't know if you guys know what I just did there. But what I noticed that the guy was doing was he wasn't letting me get off. If he will back up, back up, back up, as soon as I close the distance, he starts throwing punches. That's a very good strategy. That's a very good way to use Nate Diaz. You can back up, make them come in, 
and when they close the distance you start letting go so what I did was I switched up my style instead of playing the counter game attack and it's the same combination that I've showed you guys before jab overhand jab overhand it always gets the job done he was backing up thinking he had all the space in the world he didn't I, that really wasn't a good example of the right way to use Nate Diaz so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys one more fight with Nate Diaz just to to show you guys exactly what I mean you could use Nate Diaz and he's one of those fighters in the game that you can be flexible with you can be flexible with him you could use him any any way you want I mean you can't really use him as a, a grappler I mean you could if you're good enough but his top game is not as good as like a, a Benson Henderson or a GSP but what he is what Nate Diaz is is a boxing machine if what you want to do is strike Nate Diaz is your man you can just run through people but you got to do it the correct way you know my opponent he was he was doing well but that's because I allowed him. I allowed him to, to get close. I allowed him to let those punches go. And I didn't, I didn't attack. When you're moving forward with Nate Diaz, that's when you're doing the most damage. Now, if, I'm, if I get an opponent that's shorter than me, then I can demonstrate what I wanted to demonstrate the first time. There we go. Anthony Perez, okay. Now I'm going to show you guys one way that you can use Nate Diaz if you don't want to play the pressure game. If you want to fight... In a, in a realistic way, Nate Diaz is your man. He's long. You can keep that distance all day long. I'm going to try to demonstrate that right now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Don't lag. Commando Beaver. There we go. Switch stance. Okay. So, he's already... <laughs> he's already he's already been reckless. See what I'm doing? Boom, boom. Back up, just just pick your shots. Hit him. Being reckless. He's being real reckless. This guy is not good. He's not good. But like I said, you could fight this way with Nate Diaz. Oh, he's reckless. He's reckless. He, he's very reckless. Anyways. And he's throwing the same combinations over and over again. Okay, let me show you guys the more effective way to use Nate Diaz. When you're using Nate Diaz, the one thing you got to remember is reach is on your side, okay? And you can throw as many punches as you pretty much like. And do not be afraid to go to the body like that. See what I'm doing? Do not be afraid to do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. If they can't defend against that, Boom, mm, mm. <laughs> Let him up. That is how you use Nate Diaz. No. Come on, man. It's like, who really falls for that anymore? And you mix up your combinations. Let it fly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drop them. Let him get up. Now, if you notice, I'm not just throwing hooks. That's a mistake a lot of people make. With Nate Diaz... They just wing hooks. They're doing this. They're doing this. See when you when you do that. But see what I'm doing? Mixing it up, uppercut, fight over. I don't know how else to explain what I just did. I mean, all you gotta do is just watch it. Mix up your combinations. Don't just wing hooks. Don't just wing hooks. Do not be afraid to go to the body. Forget about all the bull crap people like to compl complain about spam, spam, spam. If you know how to play the game, what I just did to this guy would not work. So if you're fighting someone who sucks, do not be afraid to go to the body and get him out of there. Why would you want to waste your time with someone that you're better than? Why would you want to do that? Get in there, bang the body, get him out of there. If, if, if their head is open, hit him in the head and get him out of there. The reason why I like going to the body like that is because everyone is parrying their head anyways. So you mix it up. And if you're going to go to the head, don't just wing hooks. Add in some uppercuts in there. Use your overhands. Use your jabs, your straights. Make, just mix in your shots. And have fun with Nate Diaz. He's the guy you want to have fun with. Go in there and be the bully. And get, and, and get these people out of there. So two fights with Nate Diaz. Let's get one more with Johnny Hendricks. Now that is the tricky one. I have not used Johnny Hendricks in such a long time. Like... I think way before this this new patch. I haven't even touched Johnny Hendricks, but I do know 
that if you use Johnny Hendrix correctly, you can do some damage. And I'm going to try to show you guys the right way to use Johnny Hendrix. With Johnny Hendrix, you know, you got to remember, he has those really short punches. He doesn't have any reach. He doesn't have any range. You can't really chase people down. With Johnny Hendrix, you have to you have to take what they give you, okay? With Johnny Hendrix, if if your plan is just to kick box, good luck. You might not win that fight, especially if you're going up against a really good player. If your chance is just to kick box, yeah, you could use your leg kicks and score points, but if you're going up against like a Nate Diaz, you better be trying to do something like right there. You're, I'm about to go up Donald Cer up against Donald Cerrone. I can't just depend on kickboxing alone to defeat Donald Cerrone, especially if he's being used by a really good player. With Johnny Hendricks, just like Gilbert Melendez and just like Benson Henderson and just like Cain Velasquez, you have to use these guys like complete mixed martial arts fighters. You just have to do it. But um, if you do want to use Johnny Hendricks on the feet, let me show you guys what I usually do. You got to remember, the guy has power in his hands. So. Wow. Reckless, dude. So, backing him up. Backing him up. And you, if you notice, I'm not, I'm not throwing much. I'm just, I'm just picking my shots. There you go. Making sure that if I if I hit him, it's gonna be oh. see what I mean. But keep that distance. There you go. Leg kick. Back him up. Hit him with a leg kick. Miss that one. And with Johnny Hendricks, you gotta know when to stop throwing. See? You gotta know when to stop throwing shots. When they're backing up like that. Hit him with a leg kick. Okay. We get out. We kick him off. Keep backing him up. Keep backing him up. Hit him with a leg kick. Him up and then put him against the cage. Don't don't just don't just try to strike. Don't just do that. It's not gonna work. See that takedown? Take it. No. And we pass. Get him on the ground and you beat him up a little bit. Oh man, I am rusty. Can we fake that? No. Get the side control. You have to fight like a complete mixed martial arts fighter. Do not just try to strike. Or else they will run from you all day long. There you go. Johnny Hendricks is a wrestler. Use This guy just quit. He's done. I think he's going to quit. He's going to quit. Fight over him. Fight over. That's how you use Johnny Hendricks. Do not play that striking game. If they're running away from you, grab a hold of that guy. Put him against the cage. Take him down. Beat him up. Th that's it. Why would you want to just use Johnny Hendricks as a striker? Why would you want to do that? That's not the way he fights in real life. Why would you want to just fight like that in the game? I understand a lot of people hate going to the ground. I don't know why, but y you guys just hate that. But why would you why would you just want to use Johnny Hendricks as a striker? You can't. That's not the way he was designed in the game. I'm gonna use Johnny Hendricks one more time, but that, that's not the way he was made. He was designed to be used in a well round in a completely well rounded way. You know, you gotta use you gotta use all his strengths. You gotta use his takedowns, you gotta use his clinch, you gotta get fights to the ground, and you gotta pound these guys out. That's how you gotta use Johnny Hendricks. All right, let's get one more fight with Hendrix. Uh, where is he? 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 There he is. Okay. If all I did, you know, was just stand and just try to strike, like that, he would run from me all day long. These people in this game, they know how to run. That's all they do. 
and they will run they will run for three whole rounds and me personally i'm not the type of guy that likes to chase people i don't i don't like chasing people around the freaking cage right now we're about to fight nick diaz who's gonna have a height reach advantage on us salpo salpo i like to I like to fight in the conventional stance so i am going to switch touch the gloves there we go and like i said with hendrix you gotta know when to stop throwing you gotta know when to stop throwing shots like there see i throw one two i stop i stop know when to stop see if, if you don't stop in time you will get hit stop <laughs> he's just throwing that over and over again hit him and don't be afraid to go to the body you are using a shorter fighter it's okay to, to bang the body like that come on because going going to his head is pretty much going to be a waste of time and he keeps throwing that See, they just—it's hard to catch up with these guys when, when, when you have Johnny Hendricks. So you have to, you have to do that. You have to do that, or else they will run from you all day long. Make him think you want to strike, and then boom, surprise him with a takedown. Get on top of him and beat him up. Let's try to fake that out. Got it. Mm-hmm. Now, I have a video showing you guys how to do that. If you want to learn how to do that, I'll, I might leave the video in the description. Stay on top until you finish them. I know a lot of people look at this as cheap for some reason, but that's how you have to play the game. And I'm going to pound them out. He's not doing a very good job of defending this. Good fight. There you go. Why would I waste my time chasing the guy around the cage? I mean, you do want to win the fight, right? You do want to get in there and beat these guys and get out, right? And move on. Take him down and beat him up. There's no need chasing this guy around the cage. No need. That's how you use Johnny Hendricks. Use your wrestling. I'm, I, know, I know that's not what most of you want to hear. You want me to show you some... Some crazy new secret way to strike with them, but there, there just isn't. There just isn't. If they're not standing in front of you, you can't do damage with Johnny Hendricks. The only way you do damage with Johnny Hendricks is if they're standing in front of you. If they're moving, they're backing up, you got to use your takedowns. You just have to. Unless you want to throw leg kicks all fight long, but who really wants to do that? So, Anyways, that's it. That's how to use... Nate Diaz and that's how you use Johnny Hendricks. I try to put two videos in here because you know I haven't posted a video in, in a very very long time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, like I explained in the in the beginning of this video, I have a new job that's taking up all my time. That's why I am kind of slacking a little bit on the YouTube videos. But hopefully things loosen up a little bit and I start posting more videos. But do not think I'm I'm gonna stop making YouTube videos because I'm not. I'm here to stay, people, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like. Let me know who you would like to see next in the comments section, and I'll try to get a video out soon. But thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.